everybody. Angry Scarcism. Um, Blues in the building. Chase is in the building. We we out here, gang gang. Um, and I'm, I brought I brought something to the table today. Uh, is uh, Jacob Collier. Now, people who know about music, especially jazz music, you know, Jacob Collier is a basically a musical genius. Uh, perfect pitch, all of that kind of stuff. And this, uh, he is in a he is in the audience is all professional singers like a professional choir singers and he starts directing them uh and this sounds so amazing for what he's doing like it it sounds like when you get to heaven this is what it sounds like and he is directing them of going to different notes and all kinds of stuff it is just amazing i don't want to talk i don't want to talk too much i want to let jacob do his thing all right, all right. His command is just amazing. Oh, I'm thinking about the singers, dog. Being able to follow that. Yeah. That's it. You can stop it. Man, listen. <laughs> like, I was like, someone said, I saw the comments before I actually watched the video. And someone mm. said, this was what, 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 what it sounds like when you make it to heaven. And I'm like, yo, they won't lie. Like, but just like his command of everything and like knowing where to lift who up because he had it sep separated into three sections. And so, like, his command of a who goes where, go up, go go low, like, give me a little bit of half a note. Like, I mean, he was just doing everything. And because they're professional singers, they were just able to just yeah. do it. 
And that just sounded fucking amazing. I listened to this with 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 my headphones on and like turned it all the way up. It it just even I mean, you know, because sometimes when you listen to certain stuff and you turn it up and you can hear the imperfections and shit. Yeah. <laughs> no. No, not with professional singers, man. No. no because no. if you notice if you notice that sound that's just all sounded like one long hold. And mm. Even though you know everybody in the audience had to take a breath, everyone singing had to take a breath. Right. They all staggered in such a way to where the listener couldn't perceive it. Right. right. It just, and so it, it's 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 a tough technique to learn. But man, they're professionals clearly because absolutely. those cats had it down. Absolutely. Like that shit was just that was just beautiful, dog. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It reminds me of, you know, those are Gregorian chants you get in Halo, but those chants were actually No nah, dog, I'ma tell you what I thought yeah. of. <laughs> and this is this is the simple motherfucker in me, right? <laughs> I kept thinking of Gangsta's Paradise. I'm sorry. I kept thinking <laughs> Did you did you come on man? I kept come on, man. Gangsta's Paradise. I did. I and, and I thought of Halo after the fact, but I kept thinking of Gangsta's Paradise. Like I just I don't know. I just Man, kept that's, that's so hilarious. It made me want to hear Gangsta's Paradise. Well, also because I saw uh, I saw the Weird Al joint uh, Amish Paradise recently. So like, it, so that was already in my brain. So right. yeah, yeah, that. But um, Chase, what you got, bro? It was pretty. It was. It was nice. <laughs> it was nice. That was that was nice. That was nice. <laughs> um, but Jake, Jake will call you. Got some. Got some stuff. And That's also, it. also, um, he has a song with he has a song with Snarky Puppy. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. It's some, it's some real. It's, it, I mean, yeah. that's some as as high, much of high. you know, you know, learning how to play music through like rock music and stuff. I've always, mm-hmm. I've never been in like school band or anything like that. Mm-hmm. I, I, I wasn't that nerdy. I mean, you guys call me a nerd, but I wasn't that nerdy. But right. the, uh, but I um, I hung out with a lot of them there. But the, so I never really knew what exactly a conductor actually does. It just mm-hmm. seemed like, you know, the musicians have the sheet music and the conductor is, you know, he's most. I think in most cases, conductors keep time. They help and, them and yeah, keep yeah. Them they keep they 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 they're there to mostly keep time, but they're also there to tell you when to get louder and, and softer. Like your your hand movements and where you are with it, how strong you are moving your hands, all matters to them. Like on on, a, on the high level stuff, I ain't talking about high school shit, mm-hmm. but like on a, on the high level stuff, like the conductor can the can 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 manage a whole different uh, a whole lot of different things just with his hands. Right. Um, so like usually usually your right hand is what's keeping the tempo um and your what your left hand is doing it 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 can control a lot of different things and and even in marching band like your the 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 person up front can tell you to loop a certain section he can tell you like we're going to section going to section two or we're going to you know like it like can tell you like which instrument should do their solo part like he'll he'll do like this if the trombones are supposed to play like you know like stuff like that there's a lot of things that you like you you don't notice unless you're like deep into this shit like i am but like there's a lot of things that's going on there yeah so but, you know so when i was you know so i i've sang my entire life right so i sang mm-hmm. and um i actually stopped singing in, in high school, well, in middle school, and I didn't sing in high school until my junior year again. Um, and then uh, my senior year, I won state. But in college, I joined a gospel ensemble and I was in university choir. And uh, the gospel ensemble, we had a conductor, he was one of my fraternity brothers. But yeah, man, they, like I said, the, the main thing they do, they manage the dynamics of the track and they keep you on point. They help you, um, and it's great. If you have someone who has perfect pitch, they help you find your first note. Because oftentimes, for many of the people, you 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 when you join choir, you realize not everybody can read sheet music, not everybody can read music. They just can't. Um, right, right. And a lot, of, a lot, a lot, of, of and a lot of times, ahead. right before they perform, they somebody hit a pitch pipe. Yeah, for sure. Because you want to get that stuck. You know, you want to get you want to get that first note in that head, right? Because you want to you want it there. Um, 
but professionals as you get older there are different techniques and things like that but um i tell you man it it does like don't don't sleep on what they do and especially someone with perfect pitch like those people are unfair like there's very few of those people in the yeah. world um yeah. and they're they're very unfair but they're absolutely crucial when they're when they're present so i've heard i've heard of i've heard a person with perfect pitch talk and they talk about how much of a menace that thing is on their life like you know what i mean like yeah. they're, they're in school in the bell at school they like you hear a bell at school they hear what the note is yeah and they hear <laughs> they hear if it's cracked they hear if it's out of tune they hear right. they hear all the imperfections and so it can become overwhelming and it's something that is just can, can be intrusive it yeah. can be intrusive so yeah. um but yeah. yeah so yeah no that was good though that was good yeah. i enjoyed it yeah. I, um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna bring us some more i'm gonna bring us some more jacob i'm probably gonna do the snarky puppy one but the snarky puppy thing is rather long so or probably on a, a different session that we have um is it's if we we can we can deal with that um but yeah if, if nobody got anything else man thank y'all for checking us out in um uh, jacob jacob collier is that dude um and he does he does a lot of stuff um where he does like acapella things using just his own voice oh that's what's up oh buddy um so go check him out we gonna, we gonna do some more of his stuff later and um do the things like share subscribe uh hit the notification bell um leave comments i'm i'm gonna start getting back to the comments i'm gonna start getting back to the comments and and, and talking to y'all and we're gonna get that thing popping again um but yeah yeah, yeah our, man, um, our grateful dead video got a lot of positive feedback absolutely because that shit was funky yeah amen, and we, and we got we got a lot of, we got a lot of suggestions too we got a few suggestions too so we're gonna add that to the list and we're gonna get to some some more suggestions real soon so thank y'all again for checking us out do the things and we'll be back with some more reactions later peace out to the warriors, the warriors huh? later